At least here we start a chance. If my friend tries to get you to invest, kindly turn her down. She doesn't need the encouragement. If I hire the refugees, then I get cheap labor and they get coin. It's a good deal for everyone. Think about it. They're stuck here with no coin and nothing to do. I want to see dribbles, but I don't like the monster at the door. Please, go ahead of us. My son is a little nervous. What's that? Stinks of cheese! Between his piggy toes! How dare you! What in the hell is all of this? A necessity, good sir. The Steel Watch loves pretending sweet Rivington doesn't exist. So we have decided to protect you, dear patrons. <laughs> no need to thank us. You'll be allowed in once I've done this batch. Next! Hello, hello, and welcome to the Circus of the Last Days. The finest extra planar circus there is. We travel from plane to plane, thrilling all blessed to see us. From tempestuous Ginny to belligerent red caps, you'll find them all here. But enough of this. The circus is a place of joy and distraction, so uh, come inside and forget your worries. Not a problem, dear patron. Benji just has to check if you're a vicious murderer. Benji? <sighs> <laughs> Speak, Benjamin. Is he safe? Killed before, but doesn't smell like a cultist. Oh, that wanted to eat murderer. Well, murderer or not, I can take no chances. I'm afraid you'll have to move along. No circus for you. if I'm not a sucker for big eyes and a heartfelt plea. Very well. Welcome to the Circus of the Last Days. Have fun, and be sure to catch the star of our show, Dribbles the Clown. Which way is the nearest library? One. Ugly, hideous, vile. You are fortunate to have found me, freakish one. Behold, Akabi's wheel of wonders. Spin to win prizes beyond your tiny imagination and make your miserable life more bearable.
Akabi has traveled across the plains, burning and conquering all. Win the spoils of such conquest. Or, if luck smiles upon you, win the grand prize, the jackpot. No more questions. Spin or don't. Then Akabi pities you. Begone, miserable one. Win prizes found only in the most exotic plays. Viola Silvertongue at your service, or I will be once my set is done. Not now. I must provide musical support for Miss Silvertongue. Mr. Hag, miss her stink. <sighs> Darling, we have a customer. <clears throat> Is your camp drab, dreary? Then you have come to the right place. Browse our bespoke stony and bony creations. Or commission a statue in your likeness. It is our most sought after service. Bony, at your service. <laughs> uh, that there is my darling wife, Stony. Is she not magnificent? <laughs> I know, it's wondrous. Now, what can I do for you? Oh, you shall be thrilled and delighted. I know it. Nothing caught your eye? I shan't tell my wife. She... Oh, darling. Oh, oh, hungry little hobgoblin. Want a treato? I has lots of treatos, and magics, and junks I finds. Uh, don't worry, I only takes junks from dead people. I is nice. <laughs> oh, lots of times. The beasts ate a kiddo the other day, and I got some good stuffs. <laughs> I, I, I mean, uh, Circus is safe. Do not uh, worry. Y yes. Yes! I has lots of stuffs. Just for you.
Bye bye now. Get your shinies and treatos. Ah, Lucille, it's Pose Grapevine, then Pivot Step. Jacob, you have the grace of my great grandmother's missing leg. Ah, and Boris. Boris! Put some sensuality into those lovely hip bones. I know you have it in you. Step it up. We are decades from that. I hope they could open for dribbles. Not that my star needs the support, but at this rate, who knows? Call me Lucretius, ringmaster, necromancer, bringer of the night. Oh, and wine lover extraordinaire. Normally, I'd invite you into my tent for a lovely vintage, but these graceless skellies need my full attention. Enjoy my circus, darling. You call that a pose? Again, again! The skeleton looks beyond you, frozen, awaiting command from its mistress. Little remains of the person this skeleton once was, only polished bone and brittle teeth. Little remains of the person this skeleton once was, only polished bone and brittle teeth. Do not stand too close. The flames have a life of their own. Maybe we should go. <laughs> Buddy the dog is my very best friend. Do you know why? Why? Because with him, anything is possible. Way! <laughs> Good puns. <laughs> because clowns aren't enough of a horror already. <laughs> Did you hear about the scarecrow who lost a fight? He got the stuff in, kicked out of him. Wahey! Oh, you're all such good friends. I've had a wonderful time, but I have to go. Oh, oh well, if you insist. <gasps> How about a magic trick? But first, I need a volunteer with nerves of steel and the heart of a lion. Who will it be? Who? The hair on the back of your neck raises as a shiver passes through you. You, my special assistant. Come on up. What? No. Don't you dare. This isn't funny. Oh, my heart. The enthusiasm is too much. Now, up, up, double sharp. Or poor Buddy will think you don't like him. Right there. Oh, perfect. <laughs>
You, my special assistant. Come on up. A round of applause for the stalwart heart! tell children that they're special, that each and every one of them is unique. Tell me, what makes you special? can do that. You, my friend, are the most special person in the circus, in all of Baldur's Gate. Does anyone know why? Why? You're special, my friend, because I have a message just for you. Praise the absolute. You sense something behind you. Instinct takes over. Circus. Ah! 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 Ah!
some blood. A shapeshifter? <laughs> what a pity. I thought we were killing a real clown. Well, some rests better than none. Well, we around, so it might as well. Part of the show at first, but that was real. Can't believe Dribbles did this. The Dribbles. You took those bastards down like it was nothing. It was amazing. Dribbles? He can't be dead. He can't! I'm ready. What now? At least things have stayed interesting. happen to dribbles to my home can't believe we had to rely on a stranger to save us no offense not for communal use it seems best show some Circus, which will never be the same without dribbles. There is a great love amongst you. Sethino senses it. Bring your leader to me, and we shall see if your love is that of ages. I shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Violence erupts here. My home. My refuge in this city of stone and steel. Your eyes, Stira. There is pain, endless and deep, but also devotion, blazing like the sun. You're in love, are you not? You are wise to admit it. 
When it comes to love, vulnerability is armor. Truth, a sword, and trust, a shield. I pray you wield all three, Stira. Bring the one you love to me. I will look into your hearts and see if your love is eternal or doomed eternally. It can't hurt, I suppose, unless you embarrass me. Then you might find yourself hurting in a whole manner of ways. Close your eyes, little ones. Be still as stone to earth. And remember to breathe. bond between you, so tender, so fragile, but do you see it for yourselves? Shadow heart, an endless storm surges behind sharp eyes. Listen, think, from where does shadow heart draw comfort on a cold dark night? Well put. Though I'll forgive a middling wine so long as the company makes up the difference. Hear how your bond thrums with pleasure. Strong, vital, pulsing with affection. The heart craves comfort, but needs respect. How does one earn the dark-haired maiden's respect. Very good. Just don't say it so loud. The sweetest loves dance lightly on the tongue. But now we must take deeper, into the most painful reaches of the spirit. Shame sits in the soul of all. To tame it, we must name it. Shadow Heart, what is her deepest shame? I didn't think a little game would sting so much when I agreed to this. But you're right. A perfect score. I'm flattered. Have you been studying up on me every night at camp? How close you are. Two hearts beating a perfect rhythm. But I know the truth. Only one face haunts your dreams each night. Close your eyes, sweetness, and she will come to you. So, you're the lick spittle who crushed the bone lord's thrall. <laughs> oh, have you come b b begging, sniffing for our stones? Gortash won't like that. A throat his black hand can't choke the spit from. Oh, your bond will not save you. He will wrap its cord around your neck and make you swing from it. When you find the Lordling, tell him Oren is watching. So, 
know, Orin is a shapeshifter. How long has she been watching? Attack is nothing to worry about. Madame Lucretius has everything under control. Enjoy the circus. <laughs> is someone excited to work on the handsome dragonborn? Dribbles, why do we have to go missing now of all times? Oh dear. Screaming children and oozing corpse, and it's not even my birthday. Lucretius, ringmaster, necromancer, bringer of the night. Oh, and wine lover extraordinaire. It's a pleasure, darling. I thought the absolute wouldn't dare set foot in my circus. To use such a woeful dribbles impersonator, why, it's downright rude. As much as I love a good murder, my customers don't. The real dribbles, charms animals and makes puns. Awful puns, not this. Alas, I cannot afford to lose any more staff. Funerals are so very expensive. I need to move the circus, but I cannot leave just yet. Not without dribbles. He was a star. Customers of every color and creed simply adored him. I need him back, and I'll shower the person who finds him in love, adoration, and adequate compensation. What do you say? Ha! Huh. I can respect that. And you're in luck, because I am old, darling. Ancient. I have seen stars explode and civilizations fall. Along the way, I happened across items of such power that would make you weep with awe. Find my dribbles. You won't be disappointed. That's the spirit, darling. And remember, I look after those who make me happy. Hmm? Good luck, and thanks ever so much. You fight good. Doppelganger, not so good. Frozen, awaiting command from its mistress. Hello again, my vicious little warrior. Any luck finding dribbles? Man's tent fought a rat for it and everything's. <laughs> it's a, a one of a kind hand with artisanal bite marks. It's worth 
Lots. Right. Mama Lucretia says we family. Suppose that means Dribbles was too. Yeah. But don't tell nobody's I gave it to you for free. Got to protect my reputation as a tough business lord. Junks and magics for sale. Mostly bloodstain free. I am not but you are the very best at what you do. I can mm. I applaud your taste. Skeleton key.
I've said all I have to say already. Now I just want to pack up my kitchen and leave. Soup kitchen's no good if we've no one to feed soup to. Besides, Father Lorgan's gone. Murdered. And now they're blaming a refugee for it. Some folk didn't like how he looked after the refugees. But I don't think they'd kill him for it. At least... I hope they wouldn't. That's a scary thought. Not for communal use, it seems. I have all the evidence I need. You don't need to stop the murder. Details, details. Great. Look, Investigator, Brilgorn might have been a criminal, but he was no murderer. You're missing something. You have to be. Enough, Yanis. Listen to yourself. You are defending a man who ritually slaughtered your high priest. The evidence speaks for itself. Brilgore killed Father Lorgan, then, be it out of shame or profane duty, offed himself with the same blade. Case closed, Sister Yanis. Shitey little elephant. Oh, um, I apologize, stranger. Language like that hardly befits a rector of Ilmater. You could certainly say that. Two people just died on temple grounds. Our high priest, Father Lorgan, and one of the new refugees, Brilgor. Investigator Valeria thinks it's a murder and is content to blame Brilgor, the politically convenient target. Brilgor was a refugee. No one sticks up for them at the best of times, and with Gortash in power... Well, I expect the Flaming Fists will ban refugee aid now one of them's blamed for murder. Feel free to look around the temple, but fair warning, the investigator won't change her mind without significant new evidence. Charette's caress would be my best bet. That's her usual haunt after closing a case. Valeria never found the murder weapon, so that could be a start. Anything disproving the refugee murder suicide angle, really. I can tell you where to find her, but she won't be very chatty, I'm afraid. Shira passed away last year. Peacefully, mind. We buried her in the crypt under the temple, if you wish to visit. I really hope you find something, for all our sakes. It is not for us to decide who deserves Ill Mater's grace. Why not? We are his adherents. Who would know if not us? To claim to know the Lord's will. We interpret scripture and teachings, but we know nothing. We let more outsiders in, and more Baldurians die. Duke Stelmane, Father Lorcan, it's no coincidence. We have faith here, Bill. Faith in people, no matter where they're from. Who had more faith than Father Lorcan? How did that work out? Exactly. Lorgan let a killer into our temple due to his misguided compassion. His faith got him murdered. Bill, I beg you, be quiet. Even sinners receive Ilmater's grace, and Father Lorgan knew that. We don't pick and choose who we aid. Father Lorgan instructed us to welcome everyone. 
That was his edict. That is Il Mater's edict. All I'm saying is we'd be a lot better off without murderous refugees roaming the... Enough, Bill. I'm sorry you had to witness our squabbling. Our temple is open to you. Walk well. I'm more against Father Morgan. I've nothing against Father Morgan. He may to rest his soul. But his methods need to rest with him. We need change. The crying one weeps today. Our Father Logan is dead. Murdered. I... I don't want to talk. My heart is in mourning. Salve all suffering by allowing his faithful to suffer the most. Ramazet's tower. Mummy keeps talking about some army, but she won't tell me anything about it. I'm not a baby. Pack bags for myself and the kids. Would everyone please stop going on about the Absolute's army? Lord Gortash is going to sort it all out. You'll see. Really? The Absolute army is on our doorstep. You want to live? Get out of here before it's too late. Yes, army will be here any day now. Stop fretting. The, the steel watch will put a stop to them. Those machines will form a circle around the upper city as soon as the fighting starts. Mark my words. Are you all right? We'll be on our own. Fine. You're the one who took the beating. I don't want to leave. I know, sweetie. But we'll be safe in the wild. <sighs> All right. You're such a scared cat. What do you remember? You found fit when there was no hairstyle accent. Anything. You wouldn't last a day out there. Get going.
something else. You try that rifle wrestling again. They take your gold. Why would they leave your wrist intact? Yeah, whatever it all looks like. to serve. Delivery not guaranteed. Well, we've had to change the policy. Hard to send letters by road when there's a rampage and army of fanatics bearing down on you. I'll tell you, it's left me in a right pickle. I've sent what I can by pigeon, but now something's attacking them and all. Become a postmaster, Danzo. It'll be easy. Nobody mentions having to spend your evenings hunting for pigeon carcasses, do they? He senses there's more to his anxiety than a few missing letters. Oh, well, uh, one of the missing letters is my own correspondence. A, a personal matter, nothing serious. But you can understand if people think I can't even deliver my own letters, I'd be finished. I suppose there's no harm in you taking a look. Here's something to get you started. Bring me the letter, unopened, and you'll get the rest. Pigeons are very sensitive. They can't fly straight if they're disturbed. <laughs> A little wet under the wing for our unit. The commander will soon straighten you out. I've no need of a wing, man. Commander Lightfeather will give you your briefing. Name and rank, quickly now. There's a war on. The absolute poppycock. Enemy propaganda designed to confuse simple minds. <laughs> Not your fault you fell for it. <laughs> you need a strong leader like myself to see the wood under the trees. I am Commander Lightfeather, leader of the finest aerial communication regiment this side of the Triumph. State your purpose, Groundwalker. I don't have all day. Oh, damned awful business. Fine fires, a lot of them. Gone without a trace. Intelligence is in short supply, but we know our enemies flanked us on the west side, not one rooftop away. They're avoiding the whole area. I won't lose one more beak to the blighter. If you pass that way, beware the sign of the featherless wings. From that rooftop, none return. Symbol. 